Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our October celebrating spooky. I don't know. I don't care it's anymore. It's spooky month. Yes. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for somebody who claims to be very good. good. Well, that's because I have a sound confident. That doesn't mean you'll always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Oh boy. Oh, oh my shoot. goodness. You can't do that on actual paper, right. by the way. <laughs> you can't have the scrolling ball. Hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> it, could, it couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes? You're reading this. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A nosy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know I was at home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see a real blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas are already scorched with permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Retinas. Retinas. Yeah. I said retinas, though. Yeah. Is Look. it? Is that how it's... Retinas. 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 Ah, yes. Tina. Tina. Damn it, Tina. <laughs> Click. She killed someone. So, what do you think? Um, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not the right person to ask for feedback. Wrong voice. <laughs> it is a wrong voice. Ah, uh, it's okay. Yeah, that's kind of my style. Has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That's it. A lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. I was just having a hard time reading in general. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, she killed someone. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of An epiphany, epiphany recently. Epiphany recently, there it is. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, sometime, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. Oh. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are we going to get this every day? Sometimes when you're writing a poem, a story, your brain gets too fixated on the specific point. If you try too hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Oh, she like a PA system? <laughs> it kind of looks Ew. like... I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're being nice. There's no way my poem can stand up to theirs. Oh, poems. This is the literature after literature club after all <laughs> i guess that's what i ended up getting myself into across the room sayori and monica are happily chatting my eyes land on yuri and atsuki they gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems as they read in tandem i watch of i watch each of their expressions change atsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. Oh. <laughs> What's with this language? Hey. Did, Did you say something? Uh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissives, dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Fancy. Uh, thanks. You're That's just so cute. 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 Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? <laughs> it's clear about the feelings of giving up. How can that be cute? How do I know that? 
I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. You mean you have to try hard to come up with something nice to say? What a dick. That stinks, but I really didn't come out nice at all. Uh, um. Well, I did have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. <laughs> Well, if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it, which people did, by the way. Siori liked it, and Kor did too. Don't bring me into this. So based off that, I gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring which I haven't yet just like down <laughs> oh Cor liked my poem too you know he even told me he was impressed by it Natsuki suddenly stands up oh boy oh I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member Yuri <laughs> that's not what I uh, you're just, you're, you're, he stands up as well. Maybe you're jealous that Core appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? If anything, Satsuki is full of herself. Uh, n no, I was uh, full of myself. If I was full of myself, I would have... Deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <laughs> um, is everything okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew size bigger. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. That's so messed up. Natsuki. Um, that's a little. This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting guys. Suddenly both girls turn towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Core? She she's just trying to make me look bad. I believe That's it. not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate the simple writing is more effective. Then this would have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meat the meaning should jump out to the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain to her core. What? Wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. The only way to convey complex feelings that and meaning in the most is the most effectively. Fuck them. Avoiding them is not only a necessity of living between yourself; it's also a waste. You don't under you you understand that, right, Core? Um, well, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? Not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Let's go, Yuri. Yes. That's Core. That's Suki. You're right. That I liked your poem. See. C but Wait. that's not an excuse for you to be so mean you shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion, opinion is different. different that's not what happened at that's all that's what happened yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously hmm i understand yuri <laughs> your boobs are awesome you're seriously <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're seriously talented writer I see no secret that I was impressed. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But there's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and be and it becomes something real personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I, see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Uh... But Nasuki, you took it way too far. Your means well. Your means well. And if you just told her how you felt, 
This wouldn't have even happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. I don't know what she did. It was her, Natsuki. I think that's enough. Go take your pants off. <laughs> you both said something that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Mm. Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped and at this point being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up feeling bad for her. Um, something, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. So really, she doesn't need to, you know what? I'm going to do that. Don't spare me of having to look at all your faces right now. Because I'm dead. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumbles up the poem in her hand and throws it in the trash. Natsuki. She really didn't need to do all that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. Sigh. Everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. A little bit. <laughs> no, Yuri. How could anyone have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well. well. Alright, I believe you. Thanks, Core. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you as a part of this club now. Uh, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Nasuki said about, you know, oh, her. <laughs> her boobs. I would never do anything so shameful. So, they're all natural. <laughs> uh, what did Nas Nasuki say? Uh, um, um. Well, never mind that too. I'm going to make some tea. Yeah, uh, good, good idea. idea. Make enough for me and... Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay, everybody. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Cor, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends too. So her poems would turn out even better. I think to myself. I did, le I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Cool. cool. Ready to walk home? Sure, sure let's, let's go. go. <laughs> Signori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Signori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. We should hit save. I just realized that that's there. But will it take us to the loading screen? Ah, uh, let's find out. Now would be the time. Oh. Empty slot. Cool. Okay. And then... Return. Oh, wow. Signori. Sayori. Sayori. What? But what Barbara. happened there? Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Nat. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That really is the first time I've seen them fight like that. Oh, God. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. <laughs> you know, Cor, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest, and I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. So... Keep going. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation that I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Well, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more than I said that more to myself than her. But it's easy to use Sayori as an inter internal monologue sometimes. 
Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's I do think this. it's time for poem. Yep, there it is. Yeah. Alright. So I forgot the other chick's poem. What do you mean? Uh Yudi's. Damn. Uh Yudi's not nah, so I don't know. Nope. Alright. Wrath hurt, jumpy rose color, laugh disoriented flying. Uh, jump? Rose? Wrath? For her? I don't know about her. Um, when... Hurt? Bed. But she wasn't I, hurt. I think of bed. It's probably the first girl, I think about it. Bed is the first one. Sleepy. Yeah. I would assume so, yeah. Flying color. Let's go with wrath. There it is. Wrath. Bliss, vacation. Climax, raindrops, climax, COVID, definitely climax. Dark, strawberry analysis, ocean, and pink. Dark. What the heck is COVID? COVID? I don't know. Analysis. Strawberry. I think dark. Dark. I think dark. Nope. How? I think this is just random. Inflatable, amazing. Well, hair. She definitely has hair. Nope. What? <laughs> Loud, peace, friends, daydream. And uh, maybe it's the fancy words. Sure. Duh. Oh. So commentate contamination. contamination. Hey. What is the long words? Determination. Hey. Philosophy. Philosophy. Yep. Uh, secretive. Secretive. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Incongruent. Aura. Incongruent. Yeah. It is just the long words. Starscape? Existence? Which one? Starscape? Yeah. Yep. Night grown. It's entropy. Are you sure it's not log or fancy? Because happiness and night groaner. I think it's just fancy words. Sure. Yeah, see? Then, Intellectual? Yes. Uh, vibrant? Sure. Unrestained? Yeah. Uncontrollable. I think it was vivacious. Oh no, no, you're right. We got them all. We we figured out this game. Another day passes, and it's some time, and it's time for the club meeting already. I'm surprised that there's no actual in school because you know how it's a dating sim. Yeah. Like there's no like secret moments. Like oh, she asks you, I mean you have like special moments with them. Hold up, hold up. We might get, get there. I don't know. I I thought I would have seen that by now. Um, I got in a little more comfortable uh, comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entertaining the club room. The Late usual the scene, scene greets, me. greets me. Hi, Carl. Yo, Signori. Signori. <laughs> Looks like, like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I had the dream again. <laughs> I'm not just. I'm just still not used to you being in the club. That's all. I see. see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always a simple things with you anyways. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. My goodness. Will you come with me to buy a snack? Oh, maybe this is a special moment. Yes. You fucking simp retard. <laughs> He's a no. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> that, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't you take a look at your purse, senori? <laughs> Why all of a sudden? <laughs> He's gonna make him buy the snacks. No reason, really. I just want you to look at it. I just want to look at it. <laughs> Signori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and the contents spill onto the desk. Two small coins fall out. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted him the best food. I knew, I knew it. it. I can see right through your, right through you, Signori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's, it's simple. simple, really. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought snacks before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to talk, take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget how you spent all your money. 
so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not like, oh, you wanted to go for a walk. And so that only leaves one option. Ooh. I give up. <laughs> Don't make me feel guilty. If you if you feel guilty, that really means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face was in her book, as always. Ah. Uh, I wasn't I listening to anything. anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri! Tell Court to let me borrow some money. Th that's... Don't get me involved like that, Signori. Besides, you should only buy what you can get, res what you can respons reasonab responsibly, responsibly yeah. afford. And frankly, after pulling a mysterious little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. No, he's not wrong. Ah. Uh, did I just? I, I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Uh. Ah. Ha, ha. I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think of that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and I have to accept the revolution. Re revolution? Retribution. Okay, and she says retribution. That... that still coming from you, Signori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Yeah. Let me know more about it. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Signori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but you would have to come if y'all were if I weren't in for the cupcakes. God, I can't. I had to check Natsuki into making them. Well, come on, and give me credit, more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Whoop! She got smacked. I think. <laughs> I don't know where something smacks yeah. Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. What was eh? A, a cookie. cookie. Sure enough, it was a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Signori glances around. It's this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. Rest yep, retribution. Actually, that was that, one was almost worked. That one almost worked. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. I was gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. I was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> Natsuki, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Signori hugs the cookie. Damn. Jeez. <laughs> Just eat, eat it. it. Signori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So, so good. Moof. Suddenly, claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> You're going through a lot over just the one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why don't you think I gave you that one? Why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. Eh. <laughs> Signori get out, gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. They could at least put the Oh, jeez. I get it. I get it. Cookie's still in hand. Natsuki reaches up to nudge Signori off. Oh. Um. Signori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Whatever you want that to mean. <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> Did you seriously just do that? Ooh, hoo, hoo. already trots away to safety. Yuri and I laughed as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh? Natsuki, Natsuki glances around. Monica is in the club room. No. Ugh. Where's Monica anyways? Good question. Have, ev have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not I. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Yeah. You don't think she... She has a... I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than any... All of us combined. Her, That's true. 
she's basically half of you, Yuri. But you don't have confidence, so she's twice as much. You sad, sad girl. Sorry. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, uh, yeah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. Hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Uh, Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong willed. She has a boyfriend? A boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. What held you up, anyways? Ah. Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I just... I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played a music as well, Monica. Oh, I don't really. I just kind of started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should have played something for us, Monica. That's... Yes. Monica Mon looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay, that sounds so cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Core. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad from distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the covers of the book. It also looks like the same book she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah. Uh. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book that you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious on how come you have two copies of the same book. Ah. Well, I stopped at the bookstore yesterday. Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'm definitely, st I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once you start to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about, anyways? Well, hmm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There is an ominous look looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about a girl from high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister, but as soon as she does she her life gets really strange she gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison and while her life is in danger she needs to desperately choose who to trust no matter what she does she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart that's kind I of know. that's kind of dark isn't it but she's into that dark stuff Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Core? No, it's not that. 
I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri was into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just... I have to, the fuck? Oh, I can't it's read. It's just those kinds of stories. They challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Philosophy. Philosophy. Then, <laughs> philosophy. Then suddenly, when you when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out they're made out to be the naive one from letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like you sh you should let me know that I have this problem. Well, I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop. Stop me if I'm talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. <laughs> that's... Well, that's true. In fact... I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. Ah, that's what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you see you're looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. I'll quickly retrieve the book that I had put onto my back. Alright, it's fine if I see you, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seemed a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. That's not... I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in the company with somebody. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. Hold up. The next one. In the next one. Yeah, let's save it. Alright, everybody. I hope you're enjoying... Enjoying this... What is this? Like a... It's a, a novel? Yeah, kind of at this point. Hope you're enjoying this series with us. Uh, we'll be back in the next one for the next one. Uh, take it easy, everybody. Don't go get that candy this year. That's probably what I should have <laughs> said in the last one. Uh, stay home, stay safe, enjoy your Halloween, enjoy your October, and take it easy, everybody. Farewell. <laughs>